Transform fails on substitutes. Okay, not in Gen 1. <laughs> Never mind. Beating Gym Leader Castle in Pokemon Stadium is quite easy, even if you restrict yourself to only using the rental Pokemon. And since I'm always looking for a new challenge, I was thinking, how can I make it more challenging? Well, let's start by playing Round 2 mode. This gives every trainer better Pokemon, stats, and move pools, and is unlocked once you beat Gym Leader Castle for the first time. Next, let's add a Monotype challenge. In this video, I'll try to beat Gym Leader Castle Round 2 using only Bug-type Pokemon. And unlike in my Ghost and Dragon-type challenges, we can actually fill an entire team of 6 this time. With Beedrill, Butterfree, Venomoth, Parasect, Scyther, and Pinsa. After absolutely shredding round 1 with mostly Scythe and Pinsa, I realized the bugs might actually be better than one might think, so even though I originally only wanted to do Gym Leader Castle round 1, I decided to try and beat round 2 as well. You really start to appreciate every aspect of a Pokemon's move pool when it is as limited as they are in Generation 1. Like finding use in String Shot, Mega Drain, or Double Team to name a few. If you like Pokemon challenges like these, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoy this video. So, we need we need the t full team of bugs. There's only 6 bugs, so the the Pokémon choice is actually quite easy. Here, this is this is the star of the show, I think. Uh Parasect. Okay, the fastest bug in the game is Venomoth. All right. B Beedrill, we'll never use Beedrill. It doesn't matter. Hyper Beam, Butterfree, Sleep Powder, Psychic, Mega Drain, Substitute. It's like Venomoth but worse. Here here's what here's my here's the idea. Here's the idea. Parasect gets a guaranteed setup chat if it outspeeds the Pokemon. Because Pokemon need a turn to wake up, right? So if Parasect is faster, you just use Spore. And Spore can't miss. So we need to make sure whatever is up against us needs to be slower than Parasect. Then we can sacrifice it. Parasect comes in and sets up to plus six special guaranteed. Then the only thing it has to survive is a physical hit. And Parasect is very slow. 30 base speed. So we need stuff like String Shot, right? Pinsir would be good with Hyper Beam, I think. Just as a nuke. Pinsir has the strongest move. Bind. Prevents the target from moving for two to five turns. <gasps> we can force a switch with Bind. Dude! Bind! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we lead Pinsir. If the Pokemon's really fast, so fast that we can't hit it with String Shot, we use Bind and force them to switch. That's the play. I like the Scyther a lot, and I like the Parasite a lot. Wait, is this the team? Do we just try this? Alright, I'll import. This is not gonna go well. I already know. There's Pokemon, like Alakazam. Like, what do we do against a, like a, a fast fire type, like Arcanine? It outspeeds every single bug, and it probably one-shots all of them, too. Alright, uh, so we're starting the bug-only challenge for Gym Leader Castle. This is attempt number one. I mean, getting through getting through the first like couple gyms should be easy. I don't see any issues there. I did round two for Ghost and Dragon, but for, for Bug, I was a little too scared. I didn't think I would beat it all first try. This is such a like cursed by success. Like if I make a video about this. I, th I think round one was too easy. I, I think round one wouldn't make for a good video. It's it was a I think it was a little too easy. All right, so we're doing round two bug types only. Hey, do you want to steal money from Amazon and give it to your favorite creators? Oh boy, do I have the solution for you. If you're shopping on Amazon online and you click on my referral link before adding things to your shopping cart, I can earn a one to 10% commission without any extra cost for you. All you have to do is click on your country's link on my Twitch channel's about section and the referral should work. Thanks for supporting. Okay, now back to the video. The first gym should still be easy, even on round two, because they're not using fully evolved. Whoa, like a bad Pokemon choice. Dude, they all right, even back. Graveler survives that no, Mega Drain. On round Pokemon one, we one-shot Golem. All right, Golem Leap. Hard. See, this is scary though. Do I do I sleep powder it? But if I miss, I lose. Or do I just go for the two-shot with Mega Drain right away? Which means I have to tank, like, a, a rock slide. And if it crits, I'm dead. But if I crit, it dies too, so I guess it, that can go both ways. Yeah, it has rock slide and explosion. I I'll go for sleep powder once. Okay, didn't miss, that's good. Can you stay asleep? Nice. 
It's stay to sleep. Okay, so we get a free sub. Free sub? With Prime? <laughs> okay, that's a really good Brock start then. Wait. Where's my sub? Oh, I healed it, right. I was like, why am I in full HP? This doesn't make any sense. Gold bet's very scary. The remaining Pokemon count is three to two. Unless I'm faster than up in the air. Is nice, guaranteed two shot then. Dude, round two is so much more interesting. I There's actually have to think about a strat Pokemon. for Brock. <laughs> okay, Onyx is fine. Yeah, they have like almost perfect sets, I think. Or maybe they do have perfect sets already on round two. Alright. First gym, no problem. A signature move. Did you know that waterfall in gen one is completely pointless of a move? Because it can't flinch in gen one. It's just an 80 power water move. So surf was just better. There was no reason not to use her. Oh man, I could have expected that. Uh, that's fine. I could have expected that and substituted. They're both down. What other type could be interesting in, in Stadium? Like, I want to do fighting after bug. Like, what is, what is like, not free? Like, flying, psychic, water is all, it's all probably way too easy, right? Dude, ground might be actually impossible. Rock type and ground might actually be impossible. Does Aerodactyl get sand attack? That's a good move. <laughs> wow, Aerodactyl's move pool is so bad in Gen 1. It gets, like, 20 moves, man. All right, this is Misty. Uh, I'm actually scared. Thunder Wave on Starmie and it outspeeds my entire team. That's awesome. Rock Slide on Do Duck Trio outspeeds my entire team. I mean, I'll, I'll still lead Venom off and I go for damage with Scythe and Pinsir. Like, I'm not gonna do anything else. Unless I want to set up with Parasect. I think I'll just go Venom off, Pinsir Scyther. Man, that's such a shame. It's gonna outspeed me and it has Recover. I'm not gonna do any damage. Oh my god, over half. It has recover, so I have to two-shot it. I could switch to a slash user and two-shot it then, maybe? So like, pincer. Welcome. What'll it do? Okay, that's good, that's good. I'd live at least one more. It did 138. 57 left over. Oh, I, so I can't afford a substitute. I have to play risky. Shut up. I'm just going for slash. I hope I can two-shot it with a slash from Pinsir plus a slash from Scyther. No, I can't. Pinsir does more damage than Scyther. I need a miss here. Please. No, dude, Misty already is gonna be so tough. I have to double team. I need, I need a setup. I don't know, man. What's this? That's fine. I need you to miss now, though. What'll it do? Hit the weak spot. Ah, right. We need it. We we needed at least one miss with this team, and I outspeeds Venomoth, so we lose. Wow. Going down. And there goes the battle. 
So the play was to lead Butterfree and use String Shot. Oh, it. All right, we're back at Misty. Last time she was leading Stormy. Honestly, I, I'm just gonna assume she does it again. So in order to beat the Stormy, we have to lead Butterfree because Butterfree has String Shot. Butterfree is the the real deal here. Butterfree, and then I, I have to bring Scyther or Pinsir. And since neither of them outspeed Duck Trio, I might as well bring Pinsir because he's stronger. So I'm bringing Pinsir for sure. Butterfree, Pinsir, Scyther. And then we ha we set up. Oh, then I have to set up. We're stalling everything. Okay. This is it. The battle against Misty. The Cerulean gym leader and... All right, all right. So Butterfree's out. String shot. Oh, we have a Thunder Wave. Un it already outspeeds me. Hopefully a free turn. Nice. So now, both Pinsir and Scyther should outspeed it, I think. I'm actually gonna put this in the calculator. <laughs> One moment. I think this is really important. Minus one speed compared to Pinsir with max speed. Okay, Pinsir outspeeds, Pinsir outspeeds. So no more string shot needed. So next I'm going for Flash. Oh dude, Butterfree special is pretty good. Alright. <gasps> the Dugong has rest! Ah, that's so annoying! Alright, so I'm gonna oh I'm just expecting Thunder Wave, but I'm not sure if she's smart enough to, to, to actually do that. So I'm gonna substitute here. Nice, free turn. Love to see it. Then we double team. And we should get a free Thunder Wave turn again. Oh no, the switch. I hate to see it. It has seismic toss. That breaks the sub. Nice. Okay, I have to rest now. So we got the setup. That's pretty good. Oh man. The hydro pump hit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. What's that? Oh, it, it created a substitute. What's this? Oh, that spark it's resting spark. again. Heated match. What will it do? No. That, a, that was the last sub. Uh, the intense battle uh, hydro pump. So it can't. It can't one shot me now. I mean, I'm basically PP stalling the Blastoise. If the the Stormy comes back out, it's gonna outspeed me <laughs> because it doesn't have the speed down anymore. I have to rest again. I need more misses. I can like if I wake up now and I have a sub, I'm gonna attack. All right, we're getting the first hit off. I'm assuming this is gonna do 68. Okay, did more. 120. No, 119. So a clean three shot then? Stall is a savage strat in the stadium. 
Dude, if you're using bugs only, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my god, three in a row. There's bite. We ta and it tanks bite. That's pretty sick. I kind of want to heal in that case. That's like just free healing, right? Blastoise is useless. I want to. I want to be in a good situation for the other two Pokemon. One of them being Stormy. At one point, Blastoise is forced to switch out because its last move is Dig. Okay, so even if it hits me now, should I attack now or heal again? <laughs> I don't know. Attack. But I have a fresh sub. So even if it hits me once during sleep... No, I'm healing. Because even if it hits me once during sleep, the substitute survives. Alright, perfect. Full HP, full setup. Stormy probably comes back out. Can't... Thunder wave me. Oh, Exeggutor. Alright, Exeggutor has Psychic and Explosion. That's pretty scary. But we outspeed it, so even if it breaks the sub, we can just renew it. So wait, only Stormy is scary, really. It's probably going for explosion now. That's my guess. Yeah, it can miss though. No. <laughs> Dude, freaking Butterfree carried this battle. Without Butterfree, this was impossible. How is Butterfree a key part to beating one of the gym? Because of string shot. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna run out of PP. It has recover. 24 slashes versus 20 recovers? Guys, if you don't mind, I might speed this up a little. Well, at what point it's gonna have enough HP to heal, uh, to actually use a move. I mean, if I was that Stormy, that's how I would play it too. Like, this makes complete sense, right? I uh, even... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's out of... It's out of recover. I could have just attacked. Alright, alright, we won, we won. Oh, GG. Man, you already Misty was a problem. <laughs> Round two is a com is completely different beast. That was good though. That was good. I'm uh, I'm glad I st I continued round two like bug types. Do I do one more gym? Ah, one more. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if I should expect Thunderbolt here or Thunder Wave. I'll substitute. I hope it uses Thunder Wave or Supersonic. It created a substitute. Ah, okay. That's a rough start then. Pinsir might be able to kill it from here. Actually, I still live a Thunderbolt, I think. Eh, I don't know. Ah, I don't have the crit. Oh god, almost nothing. Two hours later. Uh, crit para. Okay, I got I got my move off though at least. I think Pinsir one-shots it from here. Paralyzed. Fully para. Oh my god. It has to go down. Nice. Ooh, that was close. Oh, 
All right, we got two fire types. Flamethrower Arcanine. <laughs> Outspeeding the whole team. I think I'll eat Butterfree again here. Yo, actually, Beedrill would have been better. Because Beedrill is faster than Butterfree. Fire Blast Charmeleon. Oh, it outspeeds me. I didn't even know. I hit one flash, so we should. I mean, we're stalling Fire Blast for sure. That was the third, right? Fourth. Only one remaining. It still has Slash after, which probably also breaks the sub. Wow, the sub tanks the, the crit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Chameleon's the lead. There's two more Pokemon coming after. No. What's Parasect gonna do? <laughs> well, actually, Parasect Slash is, is a lot stronger than Charmeleon. How's that? Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, hit. Charmeleon's back in. What's this? Damn the weak spot. Nice, more than half. What's this? Hit the weak spot. Oh, is it down and out? No Arcanine. All right, next fight is Surge. What is Raichu's and Electabuzz's base speed? What's that? Because this is going to matter on the next fight. I think wow. Raichu's 90 now. and Electabuzz is 95, but I could be wrong. And there goes the battle! Raichu's base 100, okay. So Scythe does outspeed it. I could lead Butterfree for the string shot. I'm, I'm leading Butterfree. I'm doing the Butterfree strut again. Here he is, Lieutenant Surge, the leader of Vermilion Gym. Wait, no, Beedra would have been better. Okay, Pokemon. it's fine, it's fine. It's uh, it's Polyrath. Polyrath. Polyrath is already slower, so I can I can sleep it. What now? If it's still asleep, I'm gonna hard switch to Pinsir. No! What? No! Can you believe this guy? What are you? What are you doing? What are you gonna? What is he gonna do? <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> Like, even the Body Slam it wouldn't break the sum. Tangela is such a disappointing Pokemon in Gen 1. Tangela might be the worst Pokemon in Gen 1. It, it like, it gets almost nothing. Alright, man. Surge kind of, like, gave us a really, really good chance with that, with those choices, man. Polyrath Tangela? Come on, man. All right, Raichu does outspeed. Oh yeah, I get Surf, right? Huge damage. All right, I think I got a little lucky beating Surge first try, like. The of we got lucky on his Pokemon, Pokemon choices. Still got a three shot the Polyrath. What now? The weak spot. All right, GG. Search oh, down as well. Is it down and out? So we we lost to Misty once. The Starmie was rough, but the Butterfree Strad man, it worked. Butterfree even stayed alive for this one. GG. All 
Alright. I've beaten Brock Misty and Surge already. We're starting with Erica's gym today. Should be safe. Unless he goes for Fire Blast. <gasps> Nice, it went for fly instead of fire blast. That's so lucky. Oh, I can't make a substitute. Okay. So I gotta I gotta rest. So one more hit. Oh, let's go. That's so lucky too. No. 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 Savage attack. Ah. Okay, that was four fire blasts. Venom and Butterfree I have remaining. Oh my god, that does no damage. Okay, arrow lead on this trainer is a huge problem. Alright, I think I need a couple sleep turns to like have a chance. So I'll just go for sleep powder now. Ah, instant wake up. Please sleep, please. No! What'll it do? It oh my god, this is the worst. One still raring to go, but Run. The opponent appears I'm out. <laughs> How do I beat Arrow? <laughs> okay. I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and expect arrow again. All right, weird team. How will the gym's second opponent conduct battle? We'll need a strong... Yes, all right, it's Arrow again. So this is as planned. I still think it's tough to win, though. Good, this is what I wanted as well. Well, I mean, Fire Blast would have been better, actually. I just hope I live a fly. Okay, nice. What'll it do? Dude, it might still outspeed me even after string shot. Oh, nice. Okay, it doesn't. Flash, please hit. Nice. Dude, Butterfree. Okay, that was good work. Come on, miss. Welcome to the. Come on. Chris, wow. Nice. Three double teams up. It got hit by one flash. There's another fly. And then I can I can still make another substitute and I can heal. While it's spamming fly. Dude, Butterfree may have carried the battle once again. Although Venomoth could have done the same, but better. Oh, a switch! The trainer is switching Pokemon. Mmm, not even half. What next? Miss the target. I really hope the loss isn't right on. What now? It would take so long. Oh, it's another miss. What, what up, Bara? Yeah, it's a hit. Oh! Hit the weak spot. Oh! Is it down and out? Like, why did the AI switch out of nowhere? Like, they still had moves left. So odd. How's that? The substitute disappeared. What now? Powerful strike. Savage attack. Yo, the back-to-back -back hit. Fire blast critical? Excuse me? If I still lose now. Oh my god, if it crits fly, I'm dead. Oh, why didn't I substitute? I'm an idiot. Dude. I almost threw. <laughs> nice and clean win. <laughs> All right, next. Cool trainer. It's 
So Mission Earthquake, Body Slam, Ice Beam. Okay. So expecting not too much damage to come from Little Queen. I don't know if a substitute would live a hit though. Nice, it does. Yeah, Pincer's defense is really high. It's like a hundred. I mean, we got an opening already. This is a. Uh, there's no ghosts on this fight. Everyone's neutral to slash. This should, in theory, be a free battle. Double team strats are so lame. <laughs> but the bugs don't have much else going for them. We can, uh, we can do this. The dugong has rest. That's annoying. The executor has explosion. Okay, we definitely want to lead a Pokemon with substitute because there's lots of status moves that could come our way. I feel like even Parasect could do well here. But we need String Shot support, so it would be Butterfree Parasect. The whole team's kind of slow, so I don't even need Scyther. I can just bring Pinsir. Maybe I'll do Butterfree Parasect Pinsir. It's on the battle against Erika. The Celadon gym leader and a grass Pokemon artist. Smart Dugong. No! Don't! Don't do it! Okay. Ouch, dude. Okay, I'll try to save the situation. Not a good start. So we can get plus six on Parasect. Honestly, having two attack moves with Parasect is such a bad idea. We definitely need rest or substitute over Mega Drain. We'll just go side beam only, I think. Special is one stat. Ooh, switch into Spore. That means free hit. No, nah, so close. I guess it doesn't matter. Even if it woke up, like it didn't matter. Dugong's back, so Dugong's a threat because it outspeeds without string shot, and it can it can paralyze, it can freeze, it can crit. Oh, dude, two hits. Let's go. Like that's a win on on Dugong as well. Yo, Parasect, actually the star of the show for once? Has never happened? Wow, Mega Drain! Wow, that's an effective hit! What now? Dude, that's annoying. What will it do? There it is. Alright, should be a two shot. You cannot avoid it, Erica. Just give up. Welcome to the crew. Chris Cram. All right, Erica down. Four gyms down. Didn't even need Pinsir this battle. Look at that. I think I want to change the move set on Parasect. Substitute is a, is the move I think. Okay, so Butterfree instead of. Sleep Powder gets Stun Spore. And with Stun Spore, it doesn't need String Shot either. And then Parasect will replace Mega Drain with Substitute. Kogas Gym, here we go. First attempt. Oh, every Pokemon on this fight has Metronome. Oh, actually, except for the Electrode for some reason. The victory should be within reach. Dude, this thing has no moves. <laughs> oh, it has substitute though. That's kind of scary. Would it go for that? No. No way. It created a substitute. I have to break the sub. To it's toxic substitute. That's so lame. Oh, toxic! It opted to 
slowly damage the opponent. This is so stupid. This is the strat, man. Toxic substitute, and then it's gonna spam metronome. Oh my god. And it outspeeds. There's nothing I can do. Metronome Thunder Punch crit. Oh my god. Oh, I could have used Scytha here. Scytha outspeeds. Oh my god. I'm I'm throwing. Alright, so it can't talk like me, and its only move is Metronome. What will it do? What could be a fun challenge for Stadium 2? Like, Stadium 2 is very difficult also. Because, I mean, the opponents have better Pokemon as well. Better Pokemon, better movesets. So we could do, we could do bug only challenge in Stadium 2. But we would have better Pokemon to choose from, right? We would have Heracross and Scizor. Hit, hit, we can give literally every Pokemon hidden power, which is also amazing, yeah. Any hidden power. Is it down and out? And there goes the battle! What's my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon? Gen 9. Hmm. The Dunsparce. <laughs> Alright. Let's go with a... F let's, let's lead Scytha here. Because they, they have really fast Pokemon with Toxic. Acid Supersonic. Rap Toxic. That's such a weird moveset. Cerulege. Wait, really? Wait, did it say super effective? Huh? I thought they fixed that. Hold on, hold on. It's McKay. No. Oh, it doesn't have any moves. It has Mega Drain. Like, that won't hurt us very much. Acid poison is super effective on bug in in stadium still. So they fixed it. They fixed the whole ghost thing on, on psychic. And they fixed ice on fire, but they didn't fix poison on bug. They they must have forgotten. This is it's so weird. It's like at some point one someone realized, oh guys, we messed up on the type chart. And then they only fix two out of three. Transform fails on substitutes. Okay, not in Gen 1. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right, Koga. No, no real fast Pokemon. Fast Pokemon is Venomoth at 90 base. Venomoth lead would be the worst, worst case scenario if I lead Scytha, but only Venomoth really. Oh, actually, we Weezing has Fire Blast. I definitely want to support in some way. I think I'll bring Butterfree. The next battle is versus Koga, the Fuchsia Gym Leader and the- Hypno lead, all right. I'm going to go and string shot then. Hit you string shot. It's made it down. 
Flash is unnecessary. Brilliant flash! Yes, it's working! What now? The special flash is special down. went down too. Hmm. A psychic flash! What the weak spot? What will the next Pokemon be? <sighs> Maybe I should have stunned Sport. Setting up Pinsir makes so much more sense than setting up Parasect. Yeah, Pinsir makes more sense. I should have I should have used Stun Spore at minus one special. Breaks the sub. Damn, Hypno is strong. If I used Stun Spore, this would have been a lot better. What'll it do? It created a substitute. There it goes. Oh my God, the accuracy on this thing. How has it not missed the move yet? The trainer changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Angela. Dang it, I can't do anything. It woke up. Oh no, double team rest on Tangela. The outcome. That's so bad. It made itself more evasive. What's this? And the weak spot. It's a three shot. Okay, so if I hit two more now, it goes down. What will it do? Oh, the attack well, it sucks. What now? The substitute disappeared. Oh, I messed up. I'll slash. Now. What that? What the weak spot? All right, if I hit this one, it goes down. That would be nice. What's going on? Hey, Chris. Hope Stadium has been treating you well today. Been a tough day for me. That's bad. I outspeed. That's nice. I have one sub one double team up only. What'll it do? Special down. What now? Oh, that's a man. It woke up. No, don't make me do the whole gym again. This fight's actually What's so that? easy. Oh, right. How do I do this? I could slash here and then finish it with Parasect, but then I still have to beat Hypno. With and I only my only move is Psybeam on Hypno. Uh, on Parasect. Better. And it outspeeds me. And I can't heal on, on Parasect. So if Pinsir dies, I lose the battle, basically. So, the only option I have here is to double team or rest. I'll double team. They strike fighting poses. It made itself more evasive. What's this? No way. I gotta do the whole gym again. Ah! Koga. Koga did it, man. I, I did misplay, though, on the Butterfree in the beginning. I should have used some spore. Misplayed big time. Wait, it might not be over. Sleep. Alright, the sub tanks. Nice, we got an extra turn. Hyper Beam is worst case, man. Why did I say anything? I don't think so. Nice. So I can use Spore again. Actually, I can just attack. Dude, if Parasite clutches this, I'll be sick. Yeah, I don't know how to speed. As expected. Ooh, the sub tanks. I, I need confusion. I need long sleep turns and like a confusion hit or something with Psybeam if I want to win this. 
Nice. So I got one hit off. Now I'm using Spore again. Oh my god, I got confused too. Sleep, please. Nice. Oh my god, this might happen. I'm just alternating between Psybeam and, and Spore. And if it ever gets a turn off, which it might, then it's still confused. So we have another another chance. And also, like, we still have a substitute up, so it would have to happen twice. Nice. Another hit. Dude, this might happen. Dude. <laughs> Another spore wouldn't change the damage much. Oh, there's this. There's the the bad news. Okay, it woke up. It is confused though. I'm gonna respore. Hit yourself, and we don't even take damage. Ah. All right, now we're one hit from from KO. What now? No, it woke up immediately. It has to hit itself in confusion, otherwise we lose. Oh no. No longer confused. It's over. Man, almost. Almost. Alright, shouldn't be a problem though. Alright. Second attempt at Koga. Here we go. This time... I'm not gonna misplay as hard as I did. I'm gonna misplay even harder! <laughs> no. Alright, so flash, double team, and paralyze. Nice. There it goes. Holy! One more hit and I'm dead. One more hit and we lose the battle again. Actually, well, Scythe I can still set up. Unbelievable! What's up with the accuracy? No way I'm losing to Koga a second time. It was fully parried once. Don't do this to me. Please. Nice. <gasps> what? It can do that? It cannot attack when it's paralyzed? That's okay. Back-to-back -back hits at plus six evasion. Um, if it ends up using rest, I'm just gonna PP stall with speed up because it's gonna take forever. All right, if I hit this one, fight's over. If not, it'll take like an extra 50 turns. Nice. <laughs> GG, Koga down. That's it. Stay clear. All right, next gym. Climate versus Butterfree. Excuse me? Nice. Free stun spore on whatever else because the prime is not a problem. Oh, right on. I don't have Mega Drain. What now? Dude, excuse me? Hello? Oh, okay, third attempt. What right. Uh, I mean, Rhydon is a Pokemon we could set up on. It's unnecessary, though. What this? And the weak spot. Ooh, nice crit. Don't paralyze me. What <sighs> I said don't! Boom. And it's down. 
that's kind of coming. Here's retaliation. Retaliation. Alright. Easy first battle. The next guy has three fire types. That could be a problem. So, three fast fire types, by the way. Alright, excellent what will potential. Miss. Alright, even go. if they switch now, we have a setup. That's okay. Paralysis is catching up on, on RNG. Earlier, I, it didn't work at all. All right, perfect setup. Should be a three shot. Oh, as I'm ready to attack, they're switching. All right, sweet. That's just the free hit. Thank you. Beat the butter free journey is over finally. Although I'm kind of using both of them in this challenge too. Actually, no, we never use Beat <laughs> Butterfree is way better. Would most types need Savage to use the substrats? Probably. Yeah. Oh, is it down and out? It's just too good of a move. Especially pairing it with double team. There isn't much to like to choose from in Gen 1. It's just like Battle Tower. A lead Pokemon that can support with moves like Smoke Screen, Flash, Stun Spore, Thunder Wave. And then a setup Pokemon. Or a staller. And then the third Pokemon's the Suiko. That's generally how it worked. Oh, he got me. If I did Psychic Monotype Challenge, I wouldn't need Mewtwo. <laughs> There's so many good Pokemon. <laughs> Wow, this might be one of the, the only times I'm not bringing pins kind of Here's the problem. Scyther can't hit Gengar, and the medium can bring a Gengar. If that happens, I'm forced to PP stall the Gengar. It's just the best strat. It's the best strat to, to set up Scyther. If Gengar comes out, it's gonna be a long battle, but I'm not at a disadvantage, technically. And Scyther can't hit it at all, because struggle is normal type. If I go Venomoth now, I make a sub, I Psychic, which is probably a three shot. And then I don't get a free What's setup matter, on Scyther. Trainer? That sucks. Do I just gamble that they didn't bring Gengar? <sighs> I don't know. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's Scyther. No. Don't be, si don't be Gengar. Oh, no. All right, I mean, we're doing a good job of getting the setup. All right. That should be all thunders, honestly. So now I'm waiting for it to run out of Nightshade so I can switch to Venomoth. Stop. What's up with the accuracy, man? How much? Th Wait, is Thunder not 10 PP in Gen 1? So I'm waiting for it to hit Confuse Ray. And then I can safely switch, because it's not going to go for it twice in a row. Okay, hit. No! They switched too! After all this? No. Okay, all I have to do is knock out the Licky Tongue and then Gengar can't hurt us. What now? A hit. 
And I think with the substitutes, I'll, I'll live enough. No. Here's a Pokemon. Why? <laughs> oh, the Magmar's still alive, right. <laughs> That's actually so bad. I forgot. What's that? Good hit. No. A psychic flash. What do I do? I need Venomoth! What will it do? Nail the weak spot! There it goes! Whoa! Looks All right. like a bad Pokemon choice! It's a head-on collision! Power versus power! What a flash! Powerful strike! Oh, that's good. That's Pokemon that's really good. Be? Venomoth might be good enough now. It's a quick it had Nightshades what left? Dude, what? Out of what nowhere, it started spamming Confuse Ray. Here's a Pokemon oh, this one's ready to drop. On. What's that? Perfect day. I was fully expecting the freeze. Savage attack. Hit the weak spot. Oh, it's down. How does it still have moves what left? There, it's a hit. What's that? I, I, the, I think the Gengar smuggled uh, an Ether into this battle. Like, some illegal stuff is happening right here. Okay, and went for Confuse Ray. Is it, like, is it actually out now? It would have to go for Bite. Okay, finally. I'm so scared. The support. So good. All right, gym leader number six, Sabrina. Snorlax lead. All right, so Snorlax has rest and amnesia, so very bad news. I'm spamming Flash. We need to PP stall Snorlax, otherwise no hope. Uh-oh. It's actually such a good move set on Snorlax. Rest Amnesia, Ice Beam Thunderbolt. I should have stun sported anyway because it can't damage itself, bro. I'm throwing. Why didn't I paralyze it? Why didn't I paralyze it? It's okay. We still got a super, like a pretty good setup. Double flash, first double team coming through. We get a second one for free. The thing is, though, with Amnesia, if it hits two moves in a row when we are asleep, we lose. Because the thing one-shots us. So Thunder Wave would have helped make this fight a little more consistent. An extra chance to not attack. Why didn't I paralyze it? <laughs> I don't want to do the whole gym again, man. That, th that third fight took so long. Ah, uh, Pinsir goes down. But it still has... It still has Minus two accuracy. So even if Pinsir goes down, Scyther can reset up. They always do this! My setup was almost there. Oh, actually, we're still set up on Pinsir. Alright, Psychic's kind of powerful. Reflects whatever. Wasted turn. Ouch. I can't make a sub. No, no. If it actually, if it knocks me out, it's over. If the if the Alakazam knocks me out, I can't win anymore. What now? It's the target. It's taking 
And I can't afford another one, so I have to rest again. But at this point, we've we've stalled almost all of the psychics, you know? Scythe could finish the job by just spamming substitute. Because once it's out of psychic, it can't hit anymore. Because its only other move is dig. So that's pretty good. This one's gonna crit, watch. No! Oh, 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 it's out of moves! I, I thought he was switching. All right, so this can't do much damage anymore. Sweet. Oh, this is great. The, the Snorlax doesn't have setup anymore. It does have rest, but I think we three-shot Snorlax. That was actually an intense battle. The setup was scary. Recover won't save you. Nice. And it's down. Looks like we're beating Sabrina after all. But flat. What the weak spot? Oh, it's down. That's it. Stay clear. Nice. All right, six gems down. Let's go, Blaine's gym. Yo, Prime! I think this this is like this guy's hard coded into opening with focus energy. Which always gives me Alright, and then switch apparently. Free hit. Oh, it's Radicate! We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. All right, free. The tenth battle continues. Man, the next fight has a Gengar again. <laughs> Power strike. And it's down. With the weirdest moveset ever, Explosion and Bites, Gengar Skull Bash. Battle. Confuse Ray. What? Dude, I, ever since, what, like two gyms ago, Butterfree lead seems to be the absolute best thing we can do. It's crazy. But I, like, Butterfree is actually goaded. Oh, that's scary. Wait a second. Pain. What now? Double stun spore miss, man. There it goes. Oh, it's leak power. The move failed to click. A massive explosion. A savage hit. Wow, going down. Please. What's that? I've missed every move. Here's a Pokemon oh, it's I have to switch because Venomoth has to kill Gengar. What's this? A hit. Uh, actually, Pinsir could do it when if it ends up using Explosion. <laughs> what is going on, dude? And we tanked it! And I have enough HP for a substitute. Although I don't think I get the turn. I think the turn of the game just ends here. Like turn ends. Uh, Exeggutor! Dude, Venomoth can't do any damage to this thing. Explosion, Hypnosis. Ooh, this thing can't do much damage to us, actually, either. Its strongest move is Egg Bomb. Dude, I might be winning this. Egg Bomb is really inaccurate. I haven't hit a single move still in the lead somehow. <laughs> Oh, a crit. What a flash! Hit the weak spot. It's finally taken down. The B drill is unused, basically. We never, we never use B drill. It has string shot, uh, twin needle, hyper beam, and something else. 
No fire types yet, by the way, in this, uh, in Blaine's gym. <laughs> All right, Blaine's next. Ooh, his Charizard has Fly. Which it, I don't think it got in red and blue, only in yellow. I think once again, we have to lead Butterfree. Butterfree's just the best here. And I don't think we need Venomoth at all, actually. We can go Scythe Pincer again. The leader of is a Tangela lead? Why does he bring a Tangela? In a freaking magma chamber. A Oop, it's paralyzed. What now? Oop, it's paralyzed. Oh god, it has double team rest. I mean, there's no point in staying in. Are we gonna see a switch? This is gonna take forever! <laughs> Who uses double team and rest, man? That's that's such PM. Like, that. that's just such a weird strategy. Can you believe that? There's no point in attacking, because I- In no world will I hit Tangela three times. In a row. The play is to stall rest or, or wait until they're switching. And if it's at full HP, we save turns because it won't fall asleep. It will cure the paralysis though. The paralysis saves its itself PP, so maybe I want it to sleep once. All right, I'll, 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 I'll cure its paralysis. All right, let's go for a little speed sesh because this is going to take forever. All right, I hit. I'll go to sleep. It went to sleep. Cool. There's the switch. Now it speeds me. Would have to hit twice in a row to actually deal damage. What'll it do? Charizard goes down. Tangela's still out there, but he can't do much. If Tangela comes back out, I'm gonna try to kill it right away. All right, all right. It also has Horn Drill. Like, we could have lost Pinsir there. Only Tangela remaining. Looks like we beat Blaine. First try. Please. One more. It's a 66% chance to hit. Nice. Right, Giovanni's gym. Persian is annoying. Persian is really good. Man, the entire team is fast, except for Parasect. Uh, maybe Beedrill is actually better here. What's Beedrill's defense? 178. 198. Oh, dude, Butterfree has more defense than Beedrill? Really? That's crazy. Kangaskhan. Double Paralysis. You hate to see it. I think I tanked that too. What snow? That's gotta be a range to tank. And I didn't hit a single flash. Well, I'm forced to continue substitute. I, I need one fully para. I'm gonna rest after as well. Oh no. So I have no double team. Please. Can we get a fully para? I just need one. No. 
What will it do? Making a quick rest. What now? Uh oh. Okay, well, Pinsir goes down. We have the same chance on Scytha as well. Scytha is weak to its other moves too, so that's annoying. This is only the first trainer on this gym anyway, so if we lose, it's not a big deal. Thank you. Now we can fish for Miss or Fully Para. Much better odds. Okay. Dodge the freeze. No. <gasps> the crit. We lost. No. <laughs> we'll try again. Uh, is it Kangaskhan again? A decisive victory oh, Dodrio this time. Alright, Dodrio hits a lot harder. <laughs> I don't know if Butterfree lives a hit. Wow. Whoa, looks like a oh my god, it does. A stump for nice. Alright, Flash and paraly Paralyzed. I just need to dodge one move again to get the setup going. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Everything's already looking better. Oh, that's, that's bad, actually. Agility sucks. Continuing setup here is best. It's probably going for another agility. Ooh. Probably an oversign. Why? Why does it what now? out of nowhere in oh, decide to use it. dig? That's by far its the weakest move. Hey, I gave up, I think. Alright, cool. Oh. This guy is a pretty scary team. Check this out. Dodrio terrifying. Zapdos terrifying. Tentacruel with Surf terrifying. Butterfree lead. Pinster for sure. Probably Scytha. The only problem would be Omastar then. That's annoying. I would have liked to, bro er, to bring Venom off. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind of battle? A stun for class. Um, store. Okay, cool. I mean, that's the best uh, setup I could ask for, honestly. They go into battle post. No! Oh, God! Wait, chat, this is awful. Too much damage. Oh, man, I guess I should have... I should have brought uh, Scythe instead. Oh, man. I think we lose at trainer number three as well. We lost to the first and the third then in this gym. If I outspeed... Yeah, I have to go with double team. No option. I do outspeed. Yeah, Scythe would have been better. Than Pinsir. Oh. Oh, good start. One more miss and... We can actually start a decent setup, I'd say. Looks like we're getting mostly a setup. Uh oh. I'm at plus four evasion. And it didn't go for drill pack for some reason. There it is. I don't live that. 
attack. What's this? What's the weak spot? I'm gonna just get rid of this because it's too scary. What'll it do? Hit the weak spot. It's finally taken down. Nice, the paralyzed one came in. One Even better odds. That's gonna take a while. What a yeah, it's a hit. It's finally taken down. That worked out so luckily. Being able to set up on, on Dodrio. Hit the weak spot. Oh, is it down and out? Toxic, it's annoying. Alright, Giovanni left. Last one. Giovanni has that Moltres. A Gengar. Gengar means I have to bring Venomoth. This is it. The final gym leader, Giovanni. The dawn of brown Pokemon. The challenger. Walk into the sky. I'm okay with Fly. Fire Spin would have been way worse. What will it do? The move failed to click. What a furious dies with nothing. It's got nothing done. Only if Fly misses. 20, 1 in 20. Ah, that sucks, man. Here comes the aerial attack. Pow! I hope it keeps using uh, Fly. It created a substitute. Nice. The air strike continues. There it goes. The substitute disappears. Fire spin would be so much worse. I mean, guaranteed double teams this way. It sucks we lost Butterfree for nothing. Please miss this one. I can rest for free. Nice. Alright. If Gengar comes out next, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Nice. I, 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 he may have not brought Gengar. So if the last is actually Gengar, it should not be a problem. Because we can stall Hypnosis. Eventually, it's actually forced to use Explosion. Okay, it's, it's Persian. Persian does outspeed, so it's a little scary. It would have to hit twice. I'm just going for da damage, nothing else. All right, GG. Giovanni's gym what down. Now, the E4. And it's down. Potentially the finale of this challenge. E4, here we go. All right, Lorelei, actually, wait, she only has two ice types in, in round two. In round one, she had five. Yeah, in round one, she had every ice type in the game. It's different this time, All right? I mean, I know what I'm doing. I'm definitely leading this guy. I'm bringing this guy and I'm bringing, yeah, this guy. Like This, this has to be the team. What's going on? Challenger now Beautiful sushi, thank you. Four. The first opponent is Lorelei. This is the one with the rest. That's annoying. I'm still gonna stun spore though, because if we don't do damage, it'll be stun it'll be paralyzed forever. You can't rest at full HP. Alright, good. And now Butterfree dies because I don't wanna I don't wanna risk a switch into like getting frozen by Blizzard. Oh, okay, switch. So we have a that's interesting. So we have a paralysis on Wigglytuff in the back. I used flash, so potential flash on Articuno. Nice. I already outspeed it. That's crazy. Two Pokemon paralyzed. Let's go. Worst case scenario, the last Pokemon is Starmie. Starmie does outspeed Scyther, so it actually doesn't make a difference if we use Pinsir or Scyther here, so I go with Pinsir. Pinsir is bulkier. Another Pokemon switch. All right. I... It is Starmie, worst case scenario. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna have to slash. What bit? The substitute was used up. What's that? Nail the weak spot. <sighs> I would have to live a hit. Let me live a hit so the stormy can go down. What'll it do? Ah, oh, it tripped me. Damn it. I have to live two hits on Scyther. And it has Blizzard. Ah, no. It has to miss the Blizzard, otherwise we can't win. Yeah, it has to miss the Blizzard. That's so unlikely. What now? It's not even going for it. Ah, it's over. A That's a good hit. Couldn't oh, win. Damn, now? even with Paralyzing 2, the Stormy in the back. The Stormy in the back ruined it. That's alright, that's alright. It's only the first. Alright, same lead again, Wigglytuff. Oh, that's nice. I just fixed the audio. Oh, nice! I, so I, I actually kept Butterfree, not poisoned. Them. Oh, Omistar. Okay, that's it's a different team this time. And once again, if Stormy is the last, it's not looking good. Hard switch to Stormy is bad news. Depends how early the hard switch happens. Like if it happens this turn, then we're we're in bad shape. No, don't do it again. God damn it! How does she know? How does she know? I went for slash. Oh. <laughs> okay, Starmie goes down for sure. The double dodge after on just one double team. Nice. And the other two are paralyzed, so. Oh my god, triple fully para. What is going on? Alright. I'm pretty confident we're gonna win this one. Alright. Only weekly tough remains. Alright, first time we made it past Lorelei. Bruno actually has decent Pokemon this time, and Hitmonlee. I think Parasect can shine here. Yeah. Although, I mean, Slowbro is going to be annoying as hell, but Parasect can easily do that. Ah, let's do it. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. Uh, String Shot's needed. And I'm dead to Rock Slide. No, Paris like guaranteed wins against Rhinon. A substitute, even if they switch now. Yeah. We outspeed because of string shot. I'm just getting the free setup. What now? If if Bruno lets me do this, I'm going all the way, man. I need to be able to one-shot the muck. 
Because the Muck can one-shot me. All right, Bruno, if you decide on switching at any point, now would be perfect. Never mind. I'm a champion. Nice. Plus six special Parasect in a substitute. Not scary at all. Ah, this goes down easily. Okay. Agatha is next. She's got a crazy team. So does Lance. Another daunting foe. What strategy will work against this wily lady? Arbok. They strike fighting poses. Oh, oh what? Pokemon chain. It has rep and earthquake. Oh, Alright, I got a free turn. Yeah, there's a special is 100, I think. It's quite good. Butterfree special is, like, decent as well. And it's Gen 1, so every stat's maxed out. In general, like, moves in Gen 1 don't do as much damage. Because everyone's tanky. I'm not surprised at all. Butterfree's been tanking most hits, if it's not stab. Alright. I think I hit three flash, that's kind of enough. Okay, no switch, that's good. Fully para? That's zoom on Gyarados' face. <laughs> when it's fully para. There's the switch. Alright, I got two double teams off then. Ah, Venusaur can't do anything, it's fine. All right, so we know of Arbok, Venusaur, and Gyarados. No, no Gengar to worry about. Slash all the way. Agatha not bringing her ace? Come on. What's Lance's ace, by the way? He has Arcanine, Electabuzz, Snorlax, Charizard, Lapras, and Kangaskhan. He doesn't even have a dragon. Christ! I don't actually know what he says, but it sounds like Christ. Which is, it probably isn't what he's saying. Strike, oh. In Mario Party 1, the Japanese version, Luigi goes like, oh my god, it's when he loses. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, Lance. Last fight before champion. Uh, we got the Flamethrower Arcanine and Fire Blast Charizard. Very scary. Uh, the Kangaskhan is quite fast and also scary. Rock Slide, Body Slam, all breaking the substitutes. There's no way we're not leading Butterfree. Butterfree has been, like, the best. Uh, problem is, if, if, he, if he leads Kangaskhan, and we lead Butterfree, then we lose probably. Uh, I don't, I don't think we win then. We could go B drill. <laughs> oh, the whole reason. Wait, the whole reason I want to use B drill over Butterfree is because B drill lives Rock Slide, and can String Shot. B drill probably lives everything. Hold on, 188 special, 258 special. Ooh, B drill might not live Fire Blast though. Fire Blast and Flamethrower might one-shot Beedrill, but Butterfree can tank those. Uh, man, I think we have to lead Butterfree, and if he leads Kangaskhan, we just lose. I don't think we can do anything about it. I don't, I don't think there's a guaranteed strat. Alright, Butterfree versus... Alright, it's Snorlax, good. Butterfree could actually 
cleanly win against Snorlax if it misses every move. <laughs> we have to dodge 11 moves. <laughs> This is like totally doable. There's a switch. Alright, Arcanine. Arcanine's fine for Butterfree, unless it crits. <laughs> Come on, man. Ah, oh, I should have used String Shot. String Shot is so much better than Stun Spore here. String Shot's more accurate. Okay, I got it, I got it. It's all good, it's all good. Nice. Good work on the Butterfree. Look at that. Two Pokemon paralyzed. One of them is the fast one. I think I'll go Scytha just in case the last is one of the fast Pokemon. Scytha also forces Arcanine to use Hyper Beam sooner. No! Ah! Oh, we outspeed Lapras, that's fine. Alright, there, there is a way uh, Scytha would lose here. If we just get too unlucky with too many hits in a row. But even if that happens, it's fine. Because Pinsir now outspeeds everyone. Let's go. Is, is double team or rest the correct play here? I don't actually know. I don't know the math here. Like, I, yeah, in this situation, I never know what to do. Yeah, I think I would double team too until the sub break. It just increases our odds of dodging. Alright, so now I have to, but I got two extra double teams out of it. Ooh, special drop into Ice Beam probably kills us. What a furious battle! So one more ice beam, we're dead. There it goes. Back the weak spot. Ah. It's taken down. All right. Damn, we're on Lance. I hope I don't lose. Pincer's still out there. I have to sub. I I really hope it's going for Confuse Ray. It created a substitute. No. All right, so it's not going for Confuse, right? I have to go for Double Team now. It's not looking good. Clutch, dude, clutch. I feel like we might be able to tank Psychic on the Substitute. I don't know how many Ice Beams used so far, but it can't have many left. Also, nice, another miss. Extra Double Team. Dude, we got this, we got this. I'm not worried. I'm not even worried, guys. At this point, it's an easy win. Ah, oh, it broke. God damn. Okay, there's one turn where we wake up and Lapras gets a move off. If it, it And it can't freeze us on that turn. It's so incredibly unlikely. It's It, it would be incredibly ridiculous. There it is. <laughs> you thought it was gonna happen. Ah. No, Confuse Ray! That could actually ruin everything. And Scythe is dead already, right? So Pinsir's our last? Alright, I think we'll make it to the champion. The potential final battle of this challenge. Bug type only stadium. Round two. I honestly didn't think it was possible. Like just thinking about it, how bad the bugs are in Gen 1. But I've learned that they're actually not as bad as people keep saying. Because Slash is such a good move. And like they have good attack. Alright, GG. One fight to go. One fight to go.
There he is. If we lose this, we have to beat the E4 again. This is truly it. The final battle against the rival. This is the final act. Uh, we got Slowbro lead. Amnesia, Earthquake, Psychic, Blizzard. Can't actually heal, so that's good. Amnesia is scary because if it hits twice in a row while we're, like, using rest, it can just one-shot us. So that's really scary. Slowbro is a run killer. We have to hit twi twice in a row, though, while we're using rest. So it's, it's, it's an unlikely loss, but it can happen, you know. I wouldn't be mad if they actually switch here. But if they switch to a nine tails, for example, then Butterfree just dies for free. All right, Butterfree goes down. Come on. Don't switch, don't switch. No. Don't switch into a fast Pokemon. Actually, it doesn't matter. We all speed them all. Okay, Executor is Psychic. We need to dodge a hit. We need to dodge a hit. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we got the setup. We got the setup. Now, Scyther is most likely able to stall Psychics anyway, and then Pinsir can continue. Oh, I have to raw rest now with two double teams set up. There's another situation that could happen. Sometimes I like to switch while I'm asleep. Critical. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, the damage. What is going on? Holy. Don't do it. No, Scyther goes down. All right, how many Psychics was that, though? Like, six, seven? Continue. Like, I'm stalling the rest with just Substitute until it switches move. I, I just hope it was six or more. It must got. have been six or more. All right, I'm on my last Pokemon. I got Double Team off. It must be switching to Mega Drain here. Yeah. And we don't know the last Pokemon. Worst case scenario, Nine Tails probably. All right, it's time to actually attack. What now? Hit the weak spot. Three shot Exeggutor. All right, if we win this, then I've completed uh, Ghost and Poison. Monotype challenges, Dragon and Bug. Which one should I do next? I'm thinking like Rock type could be fun because Rock types all suck and there's just one fast one. Arrow. It outsped me. What will it do? And hit flamethrower. If it crits me now, I lose. <laughs> I could still lose. It burned me. What now? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> We're down to one Pokemon aside. Oh my god! How? <laughs> Alright, I'm definitely setting up Substitute. Like, I'm not let giving this thing a turn. Alright, GG. That's GG. Now I can't win. I just used Slash twice. Man, you didn't have to make the last fight this intense, but it's kind of good, I guess. Good for content. Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> Still win. <laughs> Thank you, Wazel. GG. Time for daily. Wow, Urs. Chris, wow. Chris, wow. Later. Let's go! Bug type complete. I'm glad I did round two after all. Round one was uh, too, too easy, way too easy. Was this easier overall than you thought it would be? Bug types? Yeah. Bug types were a lot easier than I thought. I think, in general, monotype challenge in Stadium, a lot easier than I thought because moves, because of double team and substitute. <laughs> Turns out the bug types aren't as bad as they might seem.
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out my ghost and dragon type video. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.